Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In this playlist, I am gonna include the videos of the projects that I built using vanilla javascript and react.js. So these videos are gonna be for those who just finished the fundamental of react.js and they can build projects in vanilla javascript but they don't know how to build this project in react.js. So, in this channel, I am planning to build project. I will code in vanilla JavaScript first, and then I will build the same project in React.js. So you can understand the difference between building project in vanilla JavaScript and React.js. Okay, so for the first project, I would like to show you how to make this simple hamburger menu first in vanilla javascript and then i will show you how to build this in react.js so as you can see if i click this button it will toggle between this style and this one so let's get started first with vanilla javascript now i am in my vs code and i just have an empty folder i am going to open three new files in here one is index.html and index.css and also index.js for our javascript code and we have to link our css in here and also our javascript Okay, so now our code environment is ready, so let's start writing some code in here. First of all, we need to have a parent in here, and I'm gonna name it bar, and inside that we need to have a line, okay? So now I need to do some general style in here. So now in body, we need to write some code like width is gonna be equal to 100 percent height is gonna be 100 pH, and also this is gonna be our background color now as you can see we have this dark background color in here okay so now let's style our bar inside the css first of all we need to take the bar and width is gonna be 90 pixel height is going to be 90 pixel as well and we are gonna give it a border of uh, let's say uh, 2 pixel solid and white okay now it's over here we need to put this in the middle and the way we do that is by writing display flex align item center and also justify content center now we have this in the middle okay guys so now we need to make these lines which are inside this box the way we do that is just going back in our css code and in here i need to write line and the width is going to be 90 percent the height is going to be 5 pixel and also the background color is going to be white again as you can see we have this line over here so now we want this to be in the middle of our box the way we do that is just copy and paste this one in here sorry in this part now we have this in the middle so we need to give a little border reduce as we got that in here and i think we need to increase the height of this line as well uh, let me give that 10 pixel oh giant less 7 pixel i think it's okay and now i'm gonna give this a border radius of 5 pixel yeah that's good so now to generate the two other lines we need to use the pseudo elements now i'm gonna use before and after in here so now line before and we are gonna get the after as well so first of all we need to write a content because this is the pseudo element and now position is going to be absolute 
and because this is absolute we need to add a position relative in here and now the other properties are going to be same like this one like the line we need to just copy and paste that in here okay so now this is so close to each other and we need to separate them from each other the way we do that is first i need to grab the before one in here and i use the transform translate and the translate y is and i'm gonna separate that by 12 pixel as you can see this is this move down here so we need a little more spaces in here so i need to change that to let's say 15 okay 15 pixels so now we need to grab the after i just copy and paste this one and copy after in here i need to put a minus in here yeah as you can see we have now space but and i think we need to add a little more space to this one so uh, in here I just add that like let's say 21 pixel and minus 21 pixel yeah I think now it look almost the same as this one okay so now we need to add a cursor pointer so this show that this box is uh, actually clickable the way we do that is I just come in here I just write in bar cursor pointer and now as you can see this is this show that this button is clickable okay so now let's move to the javascript and make this functionality in vanilla javascript okay so now i i have to grab this bar in here this bar class in javascript and i have to add an on click to this one okay guys so first of all we need to declare an empty variable in here and i'm gonna call that active so this active holds a value of true by default okay so now inside here we need to write this the following code so if our variable is not active which means if that's false we need to do the following thing else if that's active we need to do the following things okay so if the variable is not active we ask the javascript to change the class of the bar i'm gonna add an active class in here and set the active to be false okay so if that's true we need to remove this class from bar and the way we do that just copy and paste and change that to remove and also now in here we need to set the active to be true again okay okay so now what does it mean active is equal to not active so basically in javascript this just let our program to toggle like as you can see in here this is just toggle keep toggling uh, between active and not active okay so now let's check is if our class is changed or not just go to the developer tool and check in here so if i save this and click over here okay i think we have an error cannot read property of null at evenness okay let's check what's going on okay guys i think i must write the deeper in here because i put the script link in my header and if you want this script link to work in the header just write deeper okay so now this error is gone so now let's check out if i click that this bar will add an active class if i uh, click this again this active class will be gone so this toggle is by the help of this line of code active is equal to not active so if i comment this you can see this is not toggling anymore it's active but it's not working anymore if i click it will not make it false again okay so now let's bring it back okay so now let's style this in our css first i need to grab the bar 
and add this active and also I need to grab the line in here and I need to change the background color to be transparent and if I click this this will be gone in here okay so now let's change the other two lines in here and make them rotate like this one we need to copy this one and also we get the line after and we need to give it a transform rotate by 45 degrees and also we do the same for the before and we give that let me write before and we give that the minus 45 degree as you can see if i click this one the middle line will be gone and also the two other will be rotated like this one okay and this work and i can toggle between both of them okay so now as you can see this is moving so smoothly and we have to write some transition in our code inside this line we need to add a transition all and also 400 millisecond and is in out okay and i just copy and paste that and put inside this one before and after and change that to transfer because we added transform to this one right so now if i click this this works very smoothly okay guys we are done with our project in vanilla javascript and let's build that in react.js so now let's build our project using react.js i have already created my react app using npx create react app as you can see i have my files in here but I just need app.js and also app.css. So first of all, let me run this React app in the terminal. Okay, now we have our React app open in our browser. So now we have our React app open in the browser. Now let's get start. So inside here, I need to delete this all. So in here, I need to write a div and I give it a class name of bar and inside this i'm gonna add a span and span and give that a class name of line okay guys so now i don't want to write my css code like before i just copy and paste that in my app.css as you can see i just copy and paste them in here okay and now there you go now we have our hamburger menu like we had in our previous program in vanilla javascript okay so now let's focus on the functionality on how to toggle like this one okay guys so now in react.js we have a hook and call that use state let me write this code const bar and set bar is equal to use state and by default it's gonna be false so now we need to change this bar class like if you remember we did that the same in vanilla javascript too right the way we can change this class is i need to add another variable in here and call that class and inside that we need to set a condition using ternary operator okay so the way we can do that I say if the bar is true by default, I need to add a bar class and also add to this one active. Otherwise, I just want the class to be bar. Okay. So now I just change this one to the classes. So we need to set an on click to our parent as well. So when we click that, we want to toggle between these classes okay so now i need to add an on click in here and inside that i need to add an arrow function and set the bar to be not bar this one is gonna handle our toggle in inside this program so if i set this one and inside my browser if i click this one as you can see this is working perfectly thanks for watching the video please don't forget to give a subscribe to my channel